here in my closet, another tank top. Men don't need respect. According to this guy that I found on r slash TikTok cringe on Reddit. Let's cut to the chase, man. Let's just see what this guy's saying. He's probably got some really valid points. Let's see what, um, let's see what this guy's got to say. Here's a huge lie of the patriarchy that I fell for for a long time. And it's the idea that men just inherently need respect. And so therefore, if your partner, your wife, anybody <laughs> brings a message to you and it's not delivered with respect and decorum and politeness, that therefore the message can be disregarded. What a joke. You probably heard the quote from... I'm trying to... Sorry, I'm scrubbing through my... my my life experiences to determine whether or not that has any validity to it. What I'm landing on is that usually most people will disregard what you have to say if you speak to them in a non-cordial fashion. It's a little Rick and Morty quote. Yeah, it is. You know why, Rick? Because when you're an asshole, it doesn't matter how right you are. Nobody wants to give you the satisfaction. That sort of seems like a people thing. Sorry, I'm just thinking. When, what did the patriarchy tell me? What was, what was the message that was delivered to me? Disregard a bitch's message because she's not, she's disrespectful? You speak to anyone with disrespect, then, and you know, I use quotes because, you know, everyone, they all quantify disrespect differently. Everyone's different. I don't believe anyone deserves respect. That applies both to men and women. Nobody, uh, I believe everyone deserves cordiality though. You should like still be decent to somebody. Right, give them information in a calm, intelligent, reasonable, emotionally. Uh, you take into account their emotions when you do that, unless you know they did something to merit the opposite. Right, someone's being a dickhead, you could speak to them like a dickhead. But just because you exist, you don't deserve respect. There's a difference between being nice and having respect for people. If you speak to anyone in a non-respectful fashion, I guess we're just going to use the term respectful to quantify our terms we're gonna have a grounding of that right i guess by respectful it's like taking into account another person's feelings i guess that's the way that this guy says it because he sort of frames it in a way it's like okay speak to me in a fashion that doesn't take into account my standing i guess in the world then i just disregard what we have to say most people that applies to most people most people won't if you don't speak to them like that also need Sure, you don't need it. Same way that you don't necessarily need companionship or a relationship or like validation. It's nice to have those things and life would be considerably more dull without them. But sure, you don't need it. <laughs> what is, what are you trying to get at? What are you, what are you doing here, dude? Laurel Thatcher Ulrich. That I've never heard that quote. Well-behaved women seldom make history. I wonder why that is. Right? It's because men... Well-behaved humans don't make history. Who are the people you remember throughout history? The most immediate people that come to mind. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, <laughs> Mao. I'm just, yeah, I'm just pulling. Clearly, there's this particular time frame here. Yeah, the worst people who are well-behaved, who are not well-behaved, usually are the ones that are remembered. That's not a female-centric problem. That's a human problem. Could you get to, like, some valid points here, dude? You're already, like... You're already just choking. Let's get to it. Right? It's because men will not hear anything that is delivered with politeness in a culture that reinforces constantly the power dynamic that we oh, are in what charge. You, you, it's because men will not hear anything that is delivered with politeness. With politeness in a culture that reinforces constantly the power dynamic that we are in charge. I think he probably misspoke there. I, he probably meant to say they won't listen to anything that is delivered with impoliteness. Which, that again, that's a human thing. Talk to anyone in a shitty fashion, they're probably not going to respond in a non-shitty fashion. Right, so everything else that's delivered with uh, with decorum is able to be easily dismissed, right? Because now we're just chatting, we're just having a night, we're just having a friendly debate. Oh, so he didn't misspeak. So if you just, he's saying men in general, if you speak to them in a 
calm, cordial fashion. They just will disregard what you have to say because they'll just treat it as just chatting. Because I'm guessing if you're a man, you're not inclined to take any criticism to heart and actually improve yourself as a person. <laughs> if you've ever ran, run into... Remember, this is a human thing, but the, you know, people like this want to break it down into... If you ever run into a woman and they've... They've never done that. No woman ever. It's only particularly men. And because we're all, we all got the ingrained patriarchy inside of us. And you need to atone for that. You want, you goddamn pig, right? This is the first time I've heard anything like this. Both men and women in my life, just if you don't speak to them in a cordial fashion, they're not going to be inclined to take what you have to say to heart. What else do you have to say? And whatever your idea is, is not my idea. And we can agree to disagree. And because I am the one in power, I get to do what I want to do. And if you come at me with any level of intensity or passion, then, oh my gosh, you're, you're just an emotional creature. And you need to be under control and put in check. How sad. In fact, we did put women, literally, in mental institutions for decades. Because they were speaking up and we called them insane. Oh, yeah. Same for children who had see epileptic seizures. Same for men who had diagnosable uh, mental illnesses. Humans were bad to humans all throughout history. But, of course, your, your sniper, sniper uh, reticles right on the, the female demographic. I'm guessing... Did you get cucked? What would your wife do to you? You look like a, you look like a, like a father. <laughs> you look like a husband. You look like you watch football on Sundays, or you you like to sit around a fire with with some with some, with your beers and your friends. And maybe you've been doing that for too long, and your wife's just like, "Dude, I need more attention." And you're just like, "You know what? You're right. I got this internalized misogyny. I haven't been listening to you. God damn it, fuck." I'm just making general assumptions. That's a... there's insanity here, but it was never the women. Never, never. And this what if you're referring to like institutions being run by men that make all sorts of crazy ridiculous decisions all throughout history it's like yeah they usually were run by men and usually those decisions were created by men but that's because those people were in positions of power to make those decisions that affected other people it's not because they're men you replace it with women you're going to get the same crap but i'm guessing there's nothing that you can really point to in history. At least there is modern example-wise, and probably recent history, of just women in position of power making awful decisions. I can't really pull up any off the top of my head right now. <laughs> the most immediate thing that comes to mind is, is men in positions. But, like, again, these are people things. These are human problems, not gender-specific. Like, do you talk to other people other than your wife? Like, this is clearly a retaliatory mindset to the way that you perceive things are. All right, just keep going. We're and this there. played out so, so sadly in my own, like, life because I have an incredible partner who was a badass and so talented, but I couldn't see her because she had been told that she couldn't speak up for her needs necessarily. And she also assumed, rightly, that somebody who really loves her would be leaning in with curiosity and would want to know what she was thinking. And so when she would bring up an idea that was uncomfortable to my own fragility, I would debate it. And if she did get passionate, I would say, you need to calm down. We're just talking here. And no surprise, eventually she stopped telling me the things that were important to her. And when I finally discovered... Instead of just leaving and finding someone who would... Oh, but I love you for whatever reason that I have, based on my mindless shitfuck emotions. It's funny, I guess. You're the man she wanted initially, probably because of those things. And now that you're changing, you better be careful, dude. She might just up and leave because the passion's not there anymore. <laughs> the crazy shit fuck intense emotions. <laughs> the more soul you beget, the more she's going to become detached. You got to be careful. That happens a lot. Right? Dude gets in a relationship in yeah, a particular way and then gets kind of pulled in a different direction and then the girl starts to lose interest. Be careful! And when I finally discovered that years late, I discovered that years later. Wow, you weren't 
there's some things you can't undo. She put that up. She put up for that with. Le she put up with that for years. Sure, it's not just you for not listening. Well, it is you for not listening, but it's not just you for not listening. She chose you. She chose to be in a monogamous relationship with you. I mean, you're acknowledging it now. I don't know if it's for better or for worse, to be honest, if this is your mindset. Right? You can still challenge stuff that she says. You can still get passionate when it comes to the things that you're talking about. Just if you dismiss stuff because of your own perceived sense of stature and your own fragility, as you say, that's, that's a you problem. That's a person. That's not a male problem. Like, I've seen both men and women who can and can't accept certain things. Who, who are insecure about their stature, who want to be perceived a certain way, who demand respect when they don't earn it. That's, that's a people thing. I've seen that everywhere, but I'm guessing this is, this is an easy answer for you to... for you to just digest. There's something <laughs> you can't did. undo. And I don't know... I don't know if we'll be able to repair our communication think we're on the path to do that i don't know if we'll honk it's probably his wife pulling up <laughs> oh he's crying in the <laughs> you can do that i mean clearly if she's willing to tolerate you for years with your your fragile and your fragile sense of of perceived stature clearly you could probably in fact i'd argue that that's probably why she stayed with you the fact that you were combative you elicited intense emotions, but now if you're going to just agree and do all these things, I guarantee you, she's going to slowly drift away. Yeah. Relationship dynamics are fucking garbage. So, good luck, dude. We'll be able to repair our intimacy. That may be irreparable. So I just hope that somebody else can hear that. Somebody else can see this. And do better. Do better. Boom. Well. Um, okay, that, that's not a gen... I already said it. Not a gender-specific thing. Just be a reasonable, rational, rational human who is able to talk about real shit without being a little bitch. That's essentially the thesis of what this guy's saying. Uh, let's see what some of these comments say. Let's see. It's a bunch of people agreeing. I wish I could talk about my, fa my to my father with this stuff. I wish I could yada yada. Sure, my father's like that, but it's like that's that's a that's a him problem. If he's too emotionally inept and insecure to be able to like have legitimate conversations where he try doesn't try to you know falsely demand respect over stuff that he hasn't earned, then it's like that's that is no bearing on me. Like you step away from that, let this person flail in their own viscous. And if they don't come to terms with it, they don't come to terms with it. If they do, cool. Can have a, and then you can open that outlet for a conversation. Hey, one, let's see what this is. Oh, to be honest, I don't think being an unapproachable asshole has anything to do with gender roles. I'm a male. My father obviously is, and we never communicated after a bad injury on deployment. And he realized I'd have died without talking to him in almost a decade. We're fine now. Pops by once a fortnight for coffee or tea. Four dislikes. <laughs> they don't like that. It is because you're a male. You're a disgusting male. And you need to acknowledge the patriarchy, which is, has just has taken you over. And is, has, has treat, used you as a puppet so that they, it can spread its will. No idea why this is getting downvoted. Because um, it's not jumping on the man, bad, women are perfect. Everything is just sex is a bad wagon, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm not sure why. That, well, that's probably the reason why it, didn't, it got downvoted. Oh, man. The ones that get up upvoted, patriarchy hurts everyone in this case. This dude was more concerned about his wife shared herself with him instead of listening to what she was sharing. There's no doubt this guy and his wife spent way too much time in some shitty religion. <laughs> All people inherently need respect unless they are Andrew Tate. Then celebrate their defeat to Greta Thunberg. Jesus Christ. Talk about contemporary. Oh, man. Humans are just products of their environment. And no. Humans don't inherently deserve, well, need. Again, like, you could live a life eating shit food and still exist. It won't be a great life, right? You don't need quality food. It's nice to have. I see that same thing with respect. 
I feel like you should, like, except food's a little different. You need, you need food to survive, so I believe everyone should have quality food, especially, you know, having access to it in a modern world where there's excess. But respect, that's earned. Earn your respect, man or woman, no matter. Don't be a shitter.